A new year means a fresh start at the Seattle Public Library, where as of today, late fees are eliminated. And the new policy already having an impact. It's really into some of these, like, packed full of information. Tara Migliore is talking about her eight-year-old son, Duncan. Duncan's favorite place is the library. If I don't bring him to the library every week, there's like real words that need to be had. <laughs> the library's been part of her life too. We moved to Seattle when I was in high school, and I remember going to the West Seattle branch at night when my mom was working and doing my homework there because it was warm and safe and I felt more comfortable there than at home alone. But in more recent years, a medical bill set her family back, so much so she could not afford to pay overdue fines at her local library. How much were your late fees at that time? It was $60, and it was at a time when I was experiencing pretty abrupt poverty where like I had been doing okay and then all of a sudden, you know, no safety net and, you know, couldn't afford food. The Seattle Public Library says late fees have kept tens of thousands of patrons away. We saw that the places with the lowest incomes in Seattle were the places with the highest number of blocked accounts based on late fines. But today, the library's leaders and city's mayor announced no more late fees. And if they can't be welcome in our libraries, where would they be welcome? So today is a huge step forward. Today, 51,000 patrons whose accounts were suspended because they owed too much in overdue fines can now return to our library system. Numbers show over the years that more and more are using Seattle's libraries with upwards of 560,000 accounts at last check. And today, Tara is glad to be counted among them. It's something I almost forgot. Like I got so used to not having a library account and to feel welcomed back is so empowering. Yeah, you know, this is going to work starting today that if a book is not returned within 14 days after it's due, the patron's account will be suspended until the okay. item's returned, but no late fees. And all this is possible because back in August, voters right. said yes to this $219 million library levy, and that means that you've got this plus some extended hours at the library. So, That's smart. Yeah. And you know it's a big announcement when they're going to bring in a PA and a microphone into a library. Where you're supposed where you're to be quiet. To but That's yeah. a big announcement. Yeah, That's cool. Was, cool move. Very All right. Uh, hey.